بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس السلام علیکم آئی ایم ڈاکٹر محمد ارشد ملک اینڈ آئی ول بی ٹیچنگ یو دی کورس آف اکالوجی بایو ڈائیورسٹی اینڈ ایولوشن پارٹ ٹو یو مسٹ ہیو اسٹڈیڈ دی فسٹ پارٹ آف اکالوجی بایو ڈائیورسٹی اینڈ ایولوشن ان یور پریویس سیمسٹر اینڈ وی ول کنٹینیو ود دیٹ ایز یو مائٹ بی اویئر آف دا فیکٹ دیٹ دس ارتھ از انہیبٹیڈ ود between four to uh, 100 million different species, they are so diverse population of uh, different organisms which inhabit this earth and how they interact with the environment and how they survive and how uh, different things leads towards the uh, uh, evolution of uh, each species, how they have best uh, evolved in this environment. This will be the uh, main focus of this subject. So uh, before going through uh, more detail, let's go through uh, some definitions or some background information which would help you uh, recall your memories. Uh, first thing, what is ecology? As you might know that ecology is actually the relationship of different organisms with its interacting environment. Ecology is a uh, very old field and uh, uh, one of the German scientists, uh, Ernst, Ernst Haeckel, uh, for the first time he coined this word ecology and he described it as uh, the relationship of animal both to its organic as well as inorganic environment. So uh, ecology is basically, it could be the interaction of different individuals, different populations, or even uh, different organisms uh, between their environment. It could be organic, it could be inorganic, it could be natural, or it could be uh, unnatural. And uh, these ecological systems with which it interacts is called ecosystem. Um, ecosystem ecology is actually the energy flow and the cycling of different chemicals among the various biotic and abiotic factors. You must know that uh, biotic factors and abiotic factors, these are the uh, uh, different uh, chemicals which are recycled between living and non-living components of this ecosystem. Now, when we talk about biodiversity, as I have told that uh, so far on this planet, it is uh, estimated that between four to 100 million different species, they have inhabited this world. But so far, very little is known about the species. Hardly we, have, we are able to discover 2 million different species. So studying biodiversity is very important so that this enables us to protect different species and also to know more about the new species which could be important in playing their important role in the ecology. Now, biodiversity uh, can be at different levels. It can be at species level, it can be at genetic level, it can be at population level. And they all form the part of this ecosystem and they all interact with each other and they all try to make this ecosystem smooth and ready. Now, if we take about the example of uh, the ecosystem forests or coral reef, they are uh, two different ecosystems which uh, are being studied at a different levels. Now, biological diversity is actually, it's the variability among li uh, different living organisms, and uh, it includes terrestrial environment, like on the land, it includes marine environment, like in the oceans, and it could be other aquatic ecosystems. For example, uh, fresh pond or rivers, they all have a large, a large variety of diverse organisms. Now, we have different ways to measure this uh, biodiversity. It includes a species richness, it could be genetic diversity, and uh, we could study endemic species, and it helps us to study ecosystem diversity. These are some of the examples which you could see that uh, these are the animals which have inhabited this planet at different levels. Now, if we take the example of uh, marine ecosystems, as you all aware that uh, flora or, and fauna of marine ecosystem is quite different from the land. When we talk about flora, we are talking about plants. 
when we talk about the fauna it means different animals which inhabit that ecosystem now in the marine ecosystem ocean are more than 70% part of this planet and uh, it has unlimited biodiversity and uh, it is way higher as compared to the ecosystem on the land which is terrestrial ecosystem so a lot of animals of different major groups they live in the sea and uh, it they are the best example to study rich ecosystem now if we talk about the evolution what is evolution it is actually any net directional change or any cumulative change uh, which is the characteristics of an organisms uh, which take place at, at a course of time uh, in many generations this is called as evolutions so uh, ever since different species or different biodiverse organisms that have inhabited this planet they have gone through evolutionary process they have changes in their them according to the environment and this process enables the organisms to live successfully on this planet now uh, if uh, we explicit, uh, explicitly uh, we uh, include uh, the uh, different uh, aspects of uh, evolution they are as uh, uh, such as the origin as well as the spread of uh, different genetic components including alleles uh, their variants and the trait values and the character states now uh, evolution can uh, occur through different uh, uh, processes uh, migration is one of them uh, mutations they are uh, basically mutation are one of the important uh, part uh, of the uh, uh, evolutionary process which leads to uh, changes in the uh, organisms uh, with the, with com when we compare it with the ecosystem or the uh, current uh, challenges or genetic drift could also lead to the uh, evolutionary processes now the uh, concept of these uh, common descendant and natural selections were first of for the first time they were studied by charles darwin and uh, he proposed it in his famous book the origin of species in 1859